how do you make money in your 60s? I'm gonna show you how to start like today making money, number one. And even if you are wanting to retire or say you're retired, mm, people are living a long time. I'm gonna say you got a 20, 30 year runway. It's just gonna look different. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, the three things I'm gonna talk about in this video. Number one, if you think you're gonna retire, which by the way, retirement is an agricultural word. It's not even a financial word that means to put cows to pasture to die. So I don't even like that word. So if you wanna just go change the way you work, let's talk about that. So how are you gonna work later in life? Number one, how do you use your skill sets right now? Like you all have knowledge, skill sets. Some of you might even be grandparents. So you could partner up with your grandkids would be amazing. And the one that people love the most, and I'm gonna save it to the end, is how do you make money with your money? I call them lazy assets. So if you're in your 60s so and just entered this decade or you're at the end of this decade, you may be like done with work. Remember, I'm not gonna use that R word anymore, even though you know what it is. So what do you wanna do? First of all, if you're just gonna go sit on a lounge chair, you're probably gonna die. Like in, you, that usually happens. Like you gotta keep your brain alive, you gotta keep your body alive. So what is it that you love to do? So don't do the R word, think about like what else could you do? This could be like the service business that you want. What's your heart and soul wanna do? What's the thing you've been doing your whole life where you, maybe you had a job or you had a different kind of business, but this is the one, right? This is that decade you wanna say, I'm going for it. Like maybe you wanna write a book because it's all right here. Remember your book is just your brains on paper. I'll help you write it. It's not difficult. Maybe you want to do a different kind of a service-based business. Maybe there's some arts and crafts you wanna do. I know uh, some men that have done just amazing metal art, just stunning metal art where they actually love to do it. They did it on the side. Another uh, gentleman did a bunch of woodworking. I know some women who have done some quilting. I don't know what it is that you love to do, but right now this is that decade where I'd assume you've made a bunch of money. Now, if you didn't, we've got to get to work because you have got to get some money and just, I don't care what age you are, you've got to get some money make, like moving. But for a lot of you, this is that time where you get to do the thing you love to do. And I'm going to help you put a business around and you're going to get incorporated. We're going to put a proper business around. You're not going to do the R word. You're going to just transition. And if you want to be out traveling a lot, let's make sure this business is really going to be conducive to that lifestyle that you want. If you wanna be in an RV driving around the country, if you wanna be in airplanes zooming around the world, I have a client who sold everything and they're living out on a yacht. Interesting way to live through the COVID pandemic. So what is it that you wanna do? What's the lifestyle you want? Let's build a company around that. Well, some of you, I know you're gonna say this, Laura, they don't have any skills, they don't know what to do. So I have a skill set analyzer, it's always on the link in my channel. And what is it that you do? What did you do? Like, here's what I'm gonna give you some examples. Some of you say, well, I was an assistant for most of my career. Well, great. I can tell you virtual assistants make a ton of money and there's actually a virtual assistant organization right now. And they're like easily, I mean, you're at anywhere between a 20 to $40 an hour skill set. Some of you say, oh, I only made, you know, 10, 15. Well, that was maybe your job, but I can tell you as an entrepreneur where you're gonna support somebody else's life and you can take clients, we have tons and tons of women that are doing virtual assistant. It's not that men can't, they tend to not lean towards that. I do have some men though that do virtual assistants, businesses, um, they're helping people, whether they're helping them with bookkeeping, Excel spreadsheets, maybe PowerPoints. Like what is it that you can do today that can help somebody else. What is a skill set? What can you serve somebody's life with? And again, a lot of them, I don't know how many people I talked to in their 60s, I'm gonna say 70s too, who wanna write your book. You wanna do it. Maybe it's just a legacy thing for you and your family. Now, if it's just legacy for you and your family and no outside learning, no one will buy it. So make sure this isn't just an arts and craft project and something that's cathartic or a legacy just for your family. It's gotta be outside of that. How could it serve other people's lives? How is something that you did growing up in your life gonna serve somebody else's life? What is their, what is the lessons you could share with other people? I have a woman, this is an amazing story. She has 10 kids. And uh, when we were having our conversation, I said, what is it that you wanna do? I mean, all your kids are gone. And I said, what are you proud of? And she said, well, one of them had autistic tendencies and I created a nutrition program based heavily in protein, vegetables, and a whole bunch of other things. And uh, I was probably most proud that he was in normal school and never had any other assistance as an autistic child. And I said, why don't you write about that? I said, you know, the increase of autism in this country is enormous. So fast forward, she's now wrote a book, 
She now does Zoom calls and does one-on-one -on -one coaching with families and parents that have autistic kids. What a fulfilling, amazing life she's having. Guess what? She's making six figures. Last I checked in with her, she was making over a quarter million dollars doing Zoom coaching and selling her nutrition books all to autistic families and autistic organizations. Don't know what it is for you. You gotta pick something today and we gotta get started today. So I wanna hear from you right now. I want you to go below and comment. What are some ideas you have right now, like top of mind, that you could do to start making money right now? And then we'll engage with that and have a conversation on how that's gonna work for you. So comment below. Now I wanna to go to the third, and I gotta say one of my favorites, because this is really where your money's making money. So let's just say you have 401k that you, from a job from before or several of them. You wanna bring all those forward and self-direct them. And the reason you wanna self-direct them with an alternative firm is you can take that self-directed money. You can go buy digital currency, you can buy real estate, you can buy gas and oil, you could buy franchise, you can buy a business in town. And I can tell you businesses are struggling from this COVID pandemic. So if you have money and you wanna be a shark, right? Uh, the vernacular of a shark, you wanna be an investor with other people, maybe you wanna be an investor with your kids or your grandkids. So what do you wanna to do to get off those lazy assets? So lazy assets in our definition, my definition, is money that's not making money. Let me give you just a quick example. If you had $100,000, and I have a woman who just came to me, she is in her 60s and she's got $338,000 and she's been living on it. I'm like, oh, stop. So let's just say we invested 300,000 and an average of 12%, which is like in your sleep, I can help you get that. So what's 12% of 300,000? Right, that's $36,000 a year she'll be making. Divide that by 12, that's $3,000 a month in cash flow. So for every 100, here's the math and the formula just to keep in mind, for every 100,000 that you have put away, if you actually got it invested actively at 12%, you're making $1,000 cash flow. So for 200,000, you're making 200. For 300,000, you're making 300. For a million, you're making 10,000. So if your financial planner or whoever you're working with is not creating that level of cash flow for you, please let me educate you because I can tell you it'll change your life. There's a lot of you, I know. 300,000, she's gonna reinvest it all. 12%, she'll be making 3,000 a month. So now she's preserved her asset, making cash flow versus she was pulling out of that 3,000 a month. I mean, how long can that last? So do not burn your lazy assets. Let's get them invested, get them smartly invested. Minimum 12%, you will crush it for the rest of your life. So if you have lazy assets, again, you commented on your business, but let me know about those lazy assets as well. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to take my financial personality quiz. There's four different kinds of financial profiles and you're going to take the one that's most like you. So then we can begin where you are and take you where you wanna go. I actually give you a video right after you take the quiz. So don't stop just with the quiz. You're gonna get your feedback and then I'm gonna give you some recommendations and some next steps from where you are in the quiz. So the way you're gonna to get to the quiz is you're gonna click on the link below and it's gonna open up into our Integrated Wealth Systems website and you're going to just push a button. It's like within a minute, maybe, maybe depending how long you take to answer the questions. It's just a few short questions and it's gonna tell you what your personality is for your financial profile.